Uh, Senator Tillis, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, General Milley and General McKenzie, I ran out of time before I could thank you for some of the work that your staff did in August. We were working several cases. Uh, I was involved. I, I remember a conversation with one of your staff, General McKenzie, at about 3 o'clock in the morning while we were trying to shepherd someone out, and we did get them out successfully along with some American citizens. But um, unfortunately, we have a much longer list of people that we were not successful with getting out uh, between SIV holders and family members. My office alone has over 900 people still on a list of people who are still in Afghanistan. Uh, and we uh, communicate with these people through WhatsApp. We were trying to shepherd them to HKIA and then back and forth. And ultimately, operations were shut down and they were stranded and left behind. Um, so what role, and uh, Secretary Austin, maybe I'll start with you, what role, if any, uh, and actually before I answer that on, on the mental health issue, we were working with a Marine who was trying to get uh, uh, an interpreter out, uh, had been maintaining contact for years. We had all the authenticating documentation. We weren't successful in that case. That Marine committed suicide about three weeks ago, uh, retired Marine. Uh, so this is having real-life consequences, not only in Afghanistan, but here in the United States. So, Secretary Austin, what role, if any, does the DOD play in helping us draw down this list of people that we believe we have documentation that suggests they should somehow get shepherded out of Afghanistan? Senator, first of all, uh, my deepest condolences on the loss of our Marine. Uh, really saddened to hear that. Um, thoughts and prayers to uh, to his families. Um, DOD continues to work as uh, as a part of the cell that you may have uh, heard me mention earlier. That's actually run or headed up by the State Department and uh, uh, Ambassador John Bass is, is running that. Uh, and we're trying to pull in as much information from every corner that we can and refine lists and refine uh, contact information so that we can reach out and, and make sure that uh, people have the, uh, the right credentials to be able to leave the country. Uh, and, uh, and so we continue to work with, uh, as a part of the state effort uh, on this issue. So. I think it'd be helpful to find out what our point of contact was. It was literally me reaching somebody to see if they could help me or moving it up the chain of command to where I was able to personally intervene in, in several cases. Um, General Milley and General McKenzie, some people have said we're glad that we've ended this war. Is, is the war on terror over, General Milley? Absolutely not. Uh, General McKenzie? The war on terror is not over, and the war in Afghanistan is not over either. Has the exit from Afghanistan made the war more challenging for us or less challenging? with respect to continuing to try and protect the homeland and U.S. interests abroad? Senator just made it more challenging. General Mill, you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, a related note, a Wall Street Journal article published on August 31st said U.S. officials acknowledge the military has lost 90 percent of the intelligence collection capabilities it had using drones before the drawdown. Um, do you agree with that? I didn't see the report. It said, say again what it said? It said with, uh, uh, we have lost 90% of our intelligence collection capabilities it had using drones before the drawdown. Mm, I'd, I'd have to go look at the actual okay. math. I, I've got my J2 actually doing that right now to determine the level of ISR assets and the statistics. It is significant. I don't know if it's 90%, but it's the, uh, On the SIVs and, and folks that are stranded in Afghanistan, uh, I, is it fair to say that our human intelligence network Given the current status uh, and the fact that many were left behind, is it fair to say that that's been stressed even more so than our drone surveillance capabilities? I mean, do we have much in the way of human intelligence on the ground in Afghanistan today? We can explain that, I think, in good detail uh, in a classified session, okay. but there is still, yes. Do we also, uh, back to General or Secretary Austin, I think it's so important for us to show that we're going to move heaven and earth to try and get these others out of Afghanistan because this not only has an impact in Afghanistan, it has an impact anywhere. You know, SIVs are not unique to Afghanistan. 
People working with us, human intelligence on the ground, keeping our forces safe is something that's standard operating procedure in a lot of dangerous areas. So I hope that we recognize that we owe it to the people of Afghanistan, but we owe it to our men and women in uniform to get this right. Thank you.